The Marquis de Saint Mind was a maelstrom of violent thoughts. But more than anyone of his time, he understood the essential fact of the human condition. He knew that each of us is capable of the actions that he described in such terrifying detail. He knew that we must not deny our darker side. That we must examine it closely so that we may rid ourselves of our fears and our hatred and thus find our humanity. The man was sick. You have a question, Larissa? No, it's just you're making him out to be some kind of prophet when he was a pervert. I mean, he didn't make this stuff up. He lived this way. How many people did he have to kill to get his insight? There is no record of Desaad killing anyone. Well, then how many have been killed because of sickos that admired him? I think you're missing the point. Professor, there's a psycho loose in the city right now. There's women disappearing, bodies turning up in the river. We've even lost somebody from our own class. Are you saying that that's okay? It's just somebody exploring mm. their dark side? I am saying that a society that looks at itself honestly is healthy. And one that denies its own evil breeds death and decay. You tell me which one we're living in. That's all. I'll see you next week. Thank you. Professor Eby, I just wanted to tell you, I'm finding your class very enlightening. All right. Thank you, Stephanie. I'm so relieved you understand me. I'd have been so well, of embarrassed. Of course I understand. With... I've been doing this a lot longer than you have. May I go take your coat? Oh, certainly. I've read everything you've written on the side. There's quite a lot of it. Well, that's the uh, academic way, isn't it? Publish or perish. <laughs> uh, there were a couple of books in the library by a man named Arnold Eby. Is he any relation? My father. Oh. This way. He seemed more interested in the Marquis Lost manuscripts. Well, yes. He's, uh, he was quite the scholar, my father. That made him devote his life to the search. They'd be worth a fortune if someone found them. Well, they'd be worth much more than that. They would provide us with new ways to explore our darker nature and make it much less easy for the world to turn away. this? A painting. A painting from his time. Some believe it was done by his own hand. Perhaps you'd like a better look. What are you doing? Welcome, mademoiselle. Now, don't be afraid. There are no dangers here. Except those you wish to embrace.
What are you looking for, anyway? I got a bill yesterday from a travel agent who was trying to collect a debt that Lewis owed him. Jack's sure that his records will help trace some of the objects. Well, at least we'll have an idea how far afield he traveled. Well, we won't have to go that far. I saw the police searching the river again. Well, we've been over all this before, Johnny. The bodies that they're finding in the river aren't those of the women who are disappearing. Well, doesn't that seem kind of strange? Well, the police seem convinced that the cases aren't related. And we haven't been able to find any hint of any cursed object at work. So let's direct our energies to something that might be a little bit more productive. Here. Gives his lover pain. Only seeking to make an impression. Hmm? Come on. The intensity of her agony increases his pleasure, that he may then make her pleasure greater. In life, there are those who enjoy and those who endure. We have a new guest, but to us, if she gets upstairs safely. Where are you taking me? To a world you've never known. Mistress, the Duchess Darnay. She arrives in Paris soon. I'm sure she'll pay any ransom you ask. Read it. It says nothing of you or, or what's happened here. trade anything for a meal and a clean bed. And just when you start to see what you are, fear sets in. And you can't bear to look anymore. And if you can't escape your flesh before death, then death becomes your only escape. And you're fit for nothing. Charnel pit. November 21, 1985. First class delivery to New York. Once again paid by Arnold Eby. Who is this guy? He flew Lewis to New York, London, Paris? Wait a second. There's a notation here on the last receipt. Excess baggage delivered to 2225 Riverside. That's Harold Lafontaine. He's an art appraiser. That's the address of his gallery. I guess you two better talk to him tomorrow. Okay. Well, I think you two better. I have an appointment with Mrs. Hudson on Chester Street. Ah, of course, the antique fire dogs, yeah. Well, then, Johnny, I guess it's you and I. Hmm? My lord. Hmm? General Lafayette. What? General Lafayette. He says it's urgent. Shall I hide her? Yes, permanently. 
She thought she was strong. In the end, all she could do was offer her fears. General. An honor. Even at this hour. I'm sorry to disturb you, Monsieur le Marquis, but another peasant woman has been killed. Ah, well, that's not news in times like these. My men discovered her in the woods, on your estate. On my estate? And was she trespassing, or were your men poaching? Monsieur. I gave no permission for soldiers to enter my property. Lacoste belongs to France now. You remain here by the mercy of the people. No, oh, please spare me the politics. I was in the Bastille when your friends stormed it. Yes. And you were there for crimes like these. You'll find no one who saw me with this peasant, whoever she is. Find your culprit elsewhere. King Louis put me in prison unjustly, and you would do the same. Nothing has changed. Your abuses will lead you to the guillotine and bring it down on every perfumed neck in France. <laughs> and wouldn't that be something, hmm? Good night, monsieur. I wish you no ill in this matter. No, not I, you. Uh... Professor? Larissa, what brings you here? I need to talk to you. Oh, I have no time today. A colleague from France sent me these. They could be decided. This is more important. Nothing could be more important than these. These may be from his lost manuscripts. Listen to this. Those who persecute me know my comfort with my darker nature. Means no guilt nor fear can be used against me. And, to be sure, guilt and fear are their only weapon. Stephanie didn't come back to the dorm last night. I'm sure that's not an unusual occurrence on this campus. I saw her leaving with you. She's the second girl from our class to disappear. Now I want to know where she is. I have no idea. But the last time I saw her, she was fine. Yeah, well, if I don't hear from her soon, I'm going to the police. Larissa.
There's no parchment. Did I do wrong? Just Darnay, L'Hotel Saint-Denis, Paris. February 8th, 5 6 years ago. Yes. What sort of pieces did you appraise for him? Well, paintings mostly. He primarily had me authenticate works of the Double Fat school. A double f uh, two-sided, Johnny, they were French 18th century. Yes, they painted on both sides of the canvas, usually an image of life on one side and death on the other. The work that he and Lewis brought from New York was that an Double Fat? Yes. And a unique one. Any luck, Walter? Uh, well, I found these. Oh, good. Thanks. Here we are. Uh, well, when I authenticated them, the pigments were consistent with late 18th century colors, but they weren't mixed with an oil base. They'd been applied to the canvas with human blood. Blood? According to legend, the artist was a prisoner in the Bastille. The painting disappeared when the Bastille was liberated the start of the French Revolution. But E.B. knew all about it. He claimed the images were so real you could just step into them. Oh, excuse me. My dearest madam, I pray for your safe arrival and that you find your possessions in order. Your wigs and dresses have been prepared in the manner to which you were accustomed. I beg you to understand I mean no disrespect by not being there to greet you and see you are properly attended. My own folly has led me to these circumstances. No one else is to blame. Should you find it in your heart to forgive my absence, the kind gentleman bearing this letter will know my whereabouts. I remain your servant, Catherine. Good hunting, Latour. We'll have fresh meat for the ball. My lord, the servant girl is missing. If she finds the Duchess Darnay and tells her what we've done here. Our crimes are small in this world, Latour. They're merely picturesque. Fetch me a fresh horse. Mickey didn't leave any messages. Do you think she's okay? Oh, sure. Uh, Mrs. Hudson had other items that may have come from the store. I guess it takes time to get sorted out. What you find in this? Well, the manifest lists Arnold Eby as, as buying a Louis XVI writing box about one year before the traveling started. There's no mention of the painting, I'm afraid. Well, if Lewis was looking for it, there must have been some attraction. Hmm. Like a window in time? Yeah, maybe. But Lewis could have had that done to any painting. This one had a power of its own, I think. Like what? Well, to judge by the symbol, something to do with life and death. Where is she? You killed her! No. She was simply a messenger who didn't survive the journey. Who was she? My no. teacher and I have a special relationship. I send him women. If they please him, he sends me knowledge. No. If you're going to be any use to me, you have to learn to be a friend of pain. No.
Your ladyship, I <gasps> had no idea you'd arrived. My maid had a key. I saw no need to disturb anyone. Oh, no, no, the, the fault is mine. I, I should have known of your arrival. You have a visitor. I, I assumed you weren't here, but he insisted. Just done, eh? A pleasure. Don Etienne Alphonse Francois, Marquis de. Well, I'm sure my my disgraceful reputation precedes me. It does. It does. Oh, it always does. <laughs> uh, your maid's done well in preparing for your reception. Have you spoken to her? No, 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 I haven't. Ah, then she hasn't told you of my invitation for this evening. No. <sighs> there are no longer decent servants in the world. <laughs> <laughs> but you'll still come. Oh. Well, I, I... The chateau's not ten minutes hence. Uh, you must have seen it from the road. Lacoste offers pleasures few have experienced, but... None can resist. Uh, uh, Mrs. Hudson, it's uh, Jack Marshak, Curious Goods. I'm sorry to phone you so late. I, I'm trying to find Mickey. What? Not at all. Uh, uh, no, no, uh, uh, thank you. She waited in all afternoon and Mickey never showed up. Anybody in the neighborhood seen her? The police found another body in the river. What a shame you're not coming. Just keep your eyes and ears open. This seems a lot of fuss over a dead peasant girl. Find out what he knows, Contessa. Your own life could depend on it. Ah, Countess. Monsieur the Marquis. Uh, the Countess de Ville, the Duchess of Dunley. You look stunning tonight, Countess. And why not? Everyone knows the finest parties are thrown by the Marquis de Sade. Guest of the Marquis? Of course. <laughs> I meant a house guest, dear. Oh. What a shame. I've been sent to discover what he's up to. It's a wonderful intrigue. Intrigue? Everyone knows that he's between lovers. And that's not possible for long with a man like him. <laughs> so, of course, that bore Lafayette thinks he's behind every evil that's perpetrated on every woman in Paris. I'm not sure what you're talking about. These dead peasant girls. With all this silly revolution business, it's become a cause célèbre. It's no reason to send spies into a man's home. I told them as soon as I got here. I realized Assad has a reputation, but... Excuse me. You're in the habit of exploring a gentleman's chambers. 
That depends upon the gentleman. There's something behind this, isn't there? Well, the Countess does have a loose tongue, doesn't she? Yes, it's a place for my private pleasures. May I see it? painted it in prison, the double face. But I much prefer the image on this side. You enjoy seeing people in pain, don't you? It's only when one is in pain that one's true character is revealed. We're creatures imprisoned by flesh. Our souls will never be free until we learn to ignore its weaknesses. Is that what put you in prison? If a man's taste in food is considered unusual, it's amusing. But when it's his taste and pleasure, some feel they can be his judges. This helped me endure the anguish of my captivity, to remember what happened here. And what happens here now? Whatever we wish. My lord, General Lafayette is here. He's ordering the guests away. Madame? Lafayette! Lafayette! Sir, Madame, I'm sorry, you'll have to follow What me. is the meaning of this? This is my home. No one is here against their will. Sacrificing you may be the only thing that keeps them from the guillotine. We found another body in your woods. No one can prove I have harmed anyone. Your reputation will be enough proof for the people. And your revolution has made you worse than those you would destroy. Come on. Should we call the police? Now, Johnny, she wouldn't be officially considered missing for at least another day. At least it wasn't her in the river. Well, we have to do something. We've walked to Chester Street and back a dozen times. I don't know what else to try. Okay, let's just assume that she's a victim of whoever's taking these other women. All right. The police have been looking for him for months and they got nothing. They've got an equal number of unidentified bodies. What if they're victims of the same guy? What? Well, I was talking to one of the cops down at the river, and he told me he's not going to check the dead girl's dental records. Well, why not? Because just like all the other women, they didn't have any dental work done. I mean, maybe some missing teeth, but no bridges or, or fillings or braces. What are the odds of that happening? Pretty good if you're from another time. Like the 18th century. It's that damn painting. Yes, it is. And it could be that we were on the right track about something else. It only gives you a one-way ticket. A live woman disappears into time. And a dead one comes back. <laughs> Your enjoyment of pain will help me buy his knowledge. 
crazy. I think the world heals with his words, or it deals with those who try to understand for themselves. <laughs> Miss Mickey Foster. I was born in the 20th century and now find myself trapped in the year 1790. I came here through a two-sided painting, one created by the Marquis de Sade. If I don't come back, maybe this will explain what happened to me. I can't help feeling this is the most dangerous thing I've ever faced. The Marquis is capable of unbelievable cruelty. He's also the most fascinating man I've ever met. There's something about him I've never felt before. He has an aura of power that comes from his willingness to embrace evil. Charisma that comes from denying what he does is evil to begin with. He has a magnetism which is irresistible. his own dark side, making you feel so comfortable you wonder what could possibly be wrong with doing the same. He's a man without fear who makes you wonder why you have any yourself. He makes you doubt everything you hold dear. Duchess, I've come to offer you more of my hospitality. We were very rudely interrupted. Jack, how are you making out? Well, the pattern fits. A woman disappears on just about the same day that a body appears. A woman of the present traded for one of the past. Yes, but a dead woman of the past. The painting doesn't let you make the return journey alive. Here are the probate papers from Eby's estate. He left everything he had to his son, Webster. Where is he? At the time, he was living in Toronto. I phoned, but it was disconnected. Try to trace the number, will you, Johnny? I'll see if I can find out any more about this damn painting. The Hall of Records had a obituary on Eby. He's written a couple books. Really? What about? The Marquis de Sade. Well written. You seem surprised. I have known many women so uh, at home in the saddle. Well, now it's my turn to be surprised. <laughs> <laughs> How long are you staying in Paris? That may depend upon yourself. You see, I've never met anyone so unrepentant. You fascinate me. I've heard that from many women. <laughs> You've been told that by peasant girls who fear you. Never your equal. I can devise tests that will break you, Duchess. Let's see. You need 
your strength. We'll do everything twice. Once to get over the shock, and a second time to see what it offers. Got it. Webster E.B. has been in a dozen places since he collected his inheritance. Three months ago, he moved back here. That's when the disappearances started. Maybe he hung on to his father's house. Where is it? The address has to be on one of those travel bills. You know, the Marquis de Sade wasn't known for his art. I don't see his connection with Lewis and E.B. on this. I think this is a dead end. This isn't. Arnold E.B. lived on Chester Street. You're not frightened? No. What makes you so different from the others? Hmm? You choose to be a victim when you don't have to be? You choose to be a torturer when you don't have to be. My role doesn't feel the pain. Ah. No, you're brave for another reason. You think it will provide you with escape. But there is none. Ah! I've had someone watch the inn since your servant escaped. But she hasn't gone the one place she would certainly go. That means she went through there, and you came the other way. Life, like the charnel pit, offers no escape but death. Tease me for two days with your courage. Now we'll see just how much you really have. No. in the hunt, my dear. And hunting you has been a joy. It makes this so much sweeter. Oh! 
this way. Come on. Oh, no! He could be dead for all you know. If you go, you could die too. I'd rather be dead than be trapped here with you. We're all trapped inside this. And death's our only escape. And you have the power. Use it. found a place for it. Hey, Vic, how are you feeling? Fine. Thanks. I just called the hospital. Eby's latest victim is coming along, too. <laughs> Lucky for her. I can't figure out how Lewis found this thing. Hey, Jack, forget it. It's here. That's all that matters. Where did this come from? Oh, it's something else that Lewis sold to Eby? Yeah, we don't know what it does, but we figured we'd bring it in here. What is it? The letter I told you about. The one where, where I explained how the painting worked. This is it. It's been opened. E.B. found out about the painting when he bought this. Jack, you don't suppose my writing this caused all those killings? No. No, it didn't. Look, yeah, thoughts don't cause pain. It's what people do with them. If people are looking for evil, oh, they're going to find it. There's nothing anybody can do about that. Well, let's close it up. 